Welcome to day three of the GM tailgate tour. Just packed up my campsite, checked over the blazer. We're about to disturb the peace in this beautiful, absolutely quiet campground. I got linked up with our crew over here uh, having some technical difficulties this morning my wireless mic's not hooking up to my camera and I couldn't upload my video last night so this is the setup I'm running on my personal hotspot hopefully that's got enough juice to get that video posted because that video was pretty big but we're running a little behind schedule not my fault though Cheryl also had to do some work so we're just gonna cruise together and probably catch up with the rest of everybody the rest of the crew so oh yeah she's still working she's working all day she's working all day all day okay <laughs> yeah y'all ready yeah, up, buddy. let's go let's ride let's go, ethan man. you you leading man yes. <laughs> <laughs> hopefully we'll get some rollers of these guys today but we'll see how it goes Well, we got some followers. The road. Oh, man. then we got to be. Yeah. <laughs> man, that was, that was, that was interesting. We're just looking at all the stone shelves. We were just amazed by those. <laughs> Heck yeah. Yeah, buddy. I got a little, uh, custom YouTube logo right here. Time for a road sandwich. I haven't done one of these in a while. Boom. Mm. That's what it's that, bro. So good. And away we go. Wrapped up our first break. We are officially in Alabama as well. Gotta say, Mississippi's got probably some of the worst drivers in the country that I've had experience with. Driving from uh, California to California and back and driving on this trip, they just don't care. They do not care. But uh, that's all right. We did just fine. We're back on the road.
Greening Auto Company is where we're at right now. This is an amazing shop. Look at this dude's showroom. Absolutely beautiful. You got a one of 504 Corvettes in here, 57, 58, probably 58. Fuel injection, neato. Wonder what's under the hood. And this uh, old school Ferrari, look at this thing. Look at this modification. No windshield, makes it go faster. Just kidding, it's probably in here for some work. Oh, I got like a keg over here. French press. Then they got their offices up there. So awesome, man. With a sweet Harley right there. And then check out this. I think it's a 57 Corvette they're working on. First of all, one off wheels. Wild. And you get a little taste of what they're doing here. You got a carbon fiber dash modern shifter so what they got under the hood well it looks like a supercharged lt5 that's all <laughs> this thing is gonna haul dude of course got a really clean nbs up there you got your second gen camaro it's super clean work man get all your metal working stuff over here this would be amazing to have access to I'm really, oh, uh, actually, just walked by this Shelby over here. I'm sorry. Oh, there's a Bronco out back, too. We got to check that out. So I was talking to a fellow that I just met out here. He said that he, the guy that owns this is the original owner of this Shelby GT350 and just brings it up here for basic maintenance and thinks the guy that owns this owns that Corvette over there. That is a killer lineup, dude. Let's go look at this, uh, this Bronco over here. Ooh, it's bright. It is awesome to see these things on the road, dude. These things rot out like crazy. This one is nice. Oh, I guess they're still working on it. Yep, still doing some work to it. All right, dude, uh, we're gonna get some donuts here. Don't mind if I do. Hmm, from Publix. Here's their machine shop. These are the wheels that are on that Corvette there. You can see all the machine work they do. It's awesome. Mmm. What's up, man? Good, brother. How are you doing? Oh, my God. That is crazy. This would be wild to work in something like this, dude. <laughs> I've got a 61 up here. Oh, what do they got out back? You got an Impala. Looks like a Falcon. Woo, she rough. Good to see that Mike and the crew made it. We saw them cruising around and got caught up with them. Maybe we'll roll out together. So I uh, just spoke with Jeff, who's Jesse's dad. So Jesse owns the shop and his dad, Jeff, does a lot of body work and told me that this is gonna be their brewery they got going on. So uh, I'm gonna have to come back up here when this is done and, and check it out. This place is awesome. Greening Auto Company. 
in somewhere Alabama. I'm sorry, I don't know where we're at. I have not been navigating, I've just been cruising today. But this place is awesome, dude. Just look at the building. Oh my goodness. That body work is just so straight, dude. So Jeff, the fellow that was telling me about the brewery behind me and the dad that runs the body shop, this is his truck. It's a fleet side Apache. Um, I think it, they said it was his first paint job way back in the day. And Jesse, the guy that runs this shop, he said there's a picture of him when he's a little kid this big in the cab while his dad was restoring it. But it's on a roadster shop chassis now. It's got some big old bear brakes, custom cut wheels here in house. Um, those are freaking awesome. Very nice interior. They say they drive this truck all over the place, take it to drive it to the car shows all over the place and uh, still use it to go make parts runs. They've got some metal in the back of the bed right now. This thing is sweet, but my favorite part, Mr. Jeff's rocking the Yeah Buddy sticker. Almost three o'clock. enjoying the nice weather today. You gonna stamp me? Yeah. Oh, is that working? Good. No. Yeah. So you're special. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, I keep forgetting about the stickers. Sweet. Thank you. Oh really? Oh, you get two? Oh, a double. You get a heart tomorrow. Right. And then you get triangle. Friday. So, all right. And then what's at the end? You get a big sticker? <laughs> Thank you. Here we go. Birmingham. Southern Illinois Truck Showdown. This is something we got to go to right here. And then uh, Precision, which is actually set up right here. So if you need some weather stripping or whatever, there are your guys. And you talk to this fella right here. What's up, brother? Not how much, man. You? Good, how are you? Good. Blazer run good? Yeah, runs better than my truck. Yeah, <laughs> which does it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, right? Thanks, Daniel. Yeah. My wife has something reliable. Yeah. I don't. <laughs> yeah. Just makes it interesting, man. That's all. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. See <laughs> y'all, guys. Take care. Yes, sir. The bourbon. Like I was saying, man, we got here super late. I just got my stamp, as you saw, and uh, grabbing something to drink because I'm thirsty. But we'll walk around a little bit, check the trucks out. They, they're uh, um, tacking up the track now. There's a drag strip over here, and uh, for 10 bucks, you can, there it is, dad gum. A lot of people have already started to roll out, but they're tacking up the track and a couple people are getting ready to run I really wish I was taking the blazer out but I mean dude I don't want to be leaking coolant and causing issues and all that stuff because uh, tonight not going to Atlanta to pick up another radiator for some racing because again it's just it's doing good also not camping tonight Matt Cooper came through and uh, he's like dude I got a room in Birmingham and a room in uh, Chattanooga with two queen beds if you want to crash. 
because Kyle, his buddy, was supposed to come and couldn't make it. And I'm like, you know what, man? I don't want to freeze tonight, so that's a great idea. Let's check out some trucks. Getting the track ready. This one's only an eighth mile. This guy pulled up. Curious to see what he'll run. Taking the four by four down the track. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Got the herd thinning out here today. Just been hanging out. They're opening up the drag strip finally. This guy pulled up. I thought he was gonna run and they shut it down. They can't get the tree to work. So I don't know if we're seeing any drag racing today. Let's see this fellow over here came in is not a part of the show. He might just be a local. How y'all doing? Good. LT swapped turbo. Nothing. What's going on? What's up, man? <laughs> so this was all full when I got here and I've been slacking. I apologize. And we had trucks all along the fence up there. We had another row going on down here. Pretty awesome. I think we're actually getting ready to head out. And uh, I'm gonna say this again, I'm not camping. I'm gonna stay at a hotel with that guy. Thanks, Matt. Starting the drag race in here. That pool was much better. So this track doesn't have uh, doesn't have time. It just says first. Oh, they're only running one at a time. She's got a helmet on. I think I was talking with them uh, earlier this week. Yeah. Tell your viewers to be nice to her. D be nice to her. Okay, I was just saying, I was like, I think I was talking to her earlier this week. Yeah, that truck a, sounds nasty, dude. It's a uh, top end build, takes the speed. Okay. But it's still a 5.3. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, a heavy truck, she's not going to be too fast. Yeah. <laughs> but this is her first time ever making any hits. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, that's even better, man. And she's wanting to build a truck, so this is good practice for her. This is going to get her hooked. That's what it's going to That's what's gonna happen. I told her, I said, two goals. You go into me and don't break my truck. <laughs> <laughs> and then we'll get working on yours. <laughs> right. Oh, that is awesome. <laughs> See how she does. Yeah. Nice. Well, it didn't sound like she broke it. <laughs> no. <laughs> there, Paul's running the dually. at BMS underscore built. What do you guys think? 15 seconds? One five. One five. In the eighth. <laughs> he still launched it. <laughs> NBS, in NBS, NBS. All right. Now I understand why he's so quick. 
Yeah. I the whistle. The whistle. Yeah. <laughs> that's the secret. Now, that is uh, NJ Car Spotter. New Jersey Car Spotter. He's big on Instagram. Oh, really? Yeah. His name's Tom. That's his buddy Kitty. Uh, NJ's in the 72. Yeah. I'll have to look him up. Off the line. <laughs> nice. She's coming again. Did she turn in her slip? Or did she give you your slip? No, no. she's running again. Yeah. Did you know she was running again? No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Now we got to look at the two times and see which one's better. That one sounded good. All right, so this one's a Turbo LT. I'm not sure what this fella's running. Uncle Buck. Uncle Buck, what's that, 10-7 in the eighth? Stock dually, 350, <laughs> driven from Connecticut. And I, Time slip. You got a little, you got a little uh, power brake action too, oh, man. Oh, it did, you oh yeah, I cut it, yeah. I cut it. An 080 light, big time. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, that's awesome. 2.5 to the 60? That's cool. The yeah. truck still rolls. We're good. We go yeah, home. Yeah, We're making yeah. home. All right, you got to do another one now. I'm going to. Okay. <laughs> These guys are rolling again. Looks like the first gen got them in the right lane. Yeah. Paul and Cheryl going at it. Get that time slip. Let's see what they got. Your turn. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Right. You want to go? Yeah. Let's go. Hey, what was the time? Uh, it was another uh, 11, uh, 1168. Oh, that was worse. Well, the first the one, launch. well, 10, 10 night, yeah, it was, I had a bad reaction time. I spun out of the hole. I mean, 180 yeah. horsepower. I mean, I please, <laughs> I knocked the four tires loose in the rear. So, I mean, we were at 105. I mean, I wasn't reset, but I spun. You yeah. Know? yeah, yeah. If we come from a dig, we'll be all right. Yeah. <laughs> I hope they got the sticky stuff down for us. <laughs> well, you got four tires in the back. You we make, got four in the back. You, you make your double, own we sticky got double, stuff. Yeah, we got double the fun. <laughs> Oh, we ate 085 of the light. Yeah, we were better first run. 2560 foot. This thing was hooking and booking, let me yeah, tell you. Yeah, dude. Oh, yeah. 60 miles an hour through the traps. <laughs> big big boy ain't quick, but he likes to party, all right? We're Still good. an 11, it's an 11 six? Yeah, well, it's eighth mile, though. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. We gotta, we gotta calculate for dude, like, that altitude. I don't know what our, what our, what our altitude, <laughs> you know, density is yeah. here, but, you know, we're, 
<laughs> they're gonna, yeah, I don't know if we're sea level or if we're up at like maybe <laughs> mountain altitude. Right. Right. If we're at twelve thousand feet, that'd be fast. Yeah, right. Yeah, but down here, we're probably like twelve hundred feet. Yeah, that's not fast. <laughs> <laughs> Swear body just won. The Apache wasn't too far behind him. Apache got a nine five, I think. I didn't catch what uh, Square body got. That Apache was skating. Six two's cooking, man. What'd you run? Eight sixty six. All right, man. Eighty four. So you're two and zero. Oh. He's got a. He's got some catching up to do, right? <laughs> <laughs> Got you again, man. Yeah, he got it. At an 8.6. I spawned a little bit then. So. Yeah. I saw you were, man, you were like skating like half an inch <laughs> off the track. Man. It done good. 9.56, or I'm tickled out of the 9.7 the second, but I spun. I yeah, know. yeah. I lost some traction. That's he knew right. that. That's why he got sticky lane. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good, man. Yes, it's all sir. Good. <laughs> been hanging out watching the drag racing and then the locals started coming out a lot of motorcycles running right now uh, and they're pretty quick <laughs> so this fella in front of me with the Jimmy that's uh that's Matt we'll chat with him in a little bit that's who I'm crashing with blazer bros tonight see you tomorrow hey, brother. I'm gonna go check in at the hotel. That was a really, really fun venue. Um, I think, again, we got there a little late because we had a really late start today, but uh, ended up being really cool. And uh, this drive's nice too, check us out. It's just a old eighth mile drag strip in the middle of the woods. to the hotel. I'm gonna cook my food I had from last night. I think they're gonna go grab dinner. The crew is here. Check out the hotel lineup. We got some nice ones here tonight. Got a couple guys hiding over here. Oh, Richard's already here. These guys were with me the first night. What up? Hey, hey. <laughs> yeah, buddy. That's right. <laughs> yeah, man. We got a good lineup here. You got the nice blazer right there, the cat eye. Sucker for a full top. Y'all know that. Got a couple trucks over here. I met these people yesterday. They're awesome. Man, that's a nice 57. And you got Boris here as well. Truck's cool. So they're gonna go grab dinner. But uh, I got all this food from camping that I gotta eat. So I'm gonna cook this up real quick and then start editing this video. Hey, gummin, I keep hitting my my key here. We're gonna go ahead and throw in our burgers too. Do like a smash burger. The man that's making it happen. Blazer Bros. Yeah, Bla Blazer Bros. Well, K5, right? So Jimmy yeah. and Blazer, you get the idea. Same thing. Yeah, same, same. 
But Matt's letting me crash at his uh, in his hotel room because I don't know. I didn't want to camp tonight, and he had an open bed. So yeah, I've been to plenty of shows with this guy. So like, I know he's not a creep. So or, <laughs> or, or is he? I don't know. We'll find out tonight. <laughs> So they're gonna go grab dinner, but uh, I got all this food from camp that I gotta eat. So I'm gonna cook this up real quick and then start editing this video. Um, people were like, why would you ever cook in a hotel parking lot? And here's my reasoning. Because right now, I'm in a hotel parking lot in a city. And uh, I'm cooking in the back of my truck. And when I did the power tour, I did the same thing. And when I travel to all these events, I do the same thing. I've literally cooked in dozens and dozens of hotel parking lots. And never had an issue and just happened to have an issue that one time so anyone any of the haters out there uh that's why i do it is because i've done it a million times and i've never had any issues and hotels are usually not an unsafe place to do this kind of stuff also this button broke I'm not happy about that look who decided to show up after dinner all right guys and gals just met this fella named Hernandez and uh, funny story he is the owner of a lifted NBS truck that was debuted at SEMA this year this is his truck right here his daily Let me get out of the way so you can, you can see that but it's the red NBS that's lifted with uh, all the like the engraving done on like all the suspension and the wheels and everything's like gold plated it's wild but yeah that's his truck and it's freaking crazy because uh that was probably one of my favorite lifted trucks from SEMA and uh yeah I just like randomly bumped into him at this hotel he's not even like a part of this event he just showed up awesome anyway guys and gals if you enjoyed this video why don't you uh, check this one out over here, or maybe check this one out over there. If you want to subscribe to the channel, that would be freaking awesome. But as always, I appreciate you watching. I'll see you in the next video. Hey, how was dinner, bro? Dinner was delicious. <laughs>